Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me at the table, Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And we've also got Hall of Famer David Aldridge reporting from the sidelines. It's the Chicago Bulls facing the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now let's take a look at the Bulls opening lineup. Long way out there with Rodman. Then it's Pippen. Then there's Harper. And it's Jordan in at the two guard. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Dennis Rodman picks one up. And Mitchell is a handful for any defense. So difficult to guard without fouling him at times. Good on both. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Pippen the pass to Harper. Spruce against Jordan. It's good. And just beautiful form on MJ's jumper. A part of the game he polishes more and more every year. Here's Mitchell. Got a hand on it. Outside Pippen. Pass to Rodman. And Rodman with the slam. He may not have that traditional power forward build, but his bounce, well, that kind of levels the playing field. Mitchell looking it over. Drops in the layup for two. It is not an easy thing to body up to Mitchell. He is built like an absolute brick. Jordan kicks to Pippen. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. No good from Jordan. Defense pulled out all the stops to shut him down there. Mitchell passes to Okoro. Mitchell against Harper. Shots good by Mitchell. Mitchell's got six. Whatever he lacks in size, Mitchell makes up with craftiness. It allows him to be effective inside. Mitchell against Harper. Dishes to Jordan. Baseline jumper, and the shot goes in. Six points for Michael Jordan. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Now, here's Harper. He's looking for Jordan and finds him. Oh, and with that wingspan of Allen, you always have to be aware of where he is because he will block a shot from pretty much anywhere. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. They recover it. The length of Allen, yeah, that's problematic for a lot of shooters. And this man knows how to distract them. I said again. That one rolling around and rims out. Looked like he just rushed it there. Just maybe take a little bit more time in the future. Just five to shoot. Here's Jordan. Rebounded by Allen. One fifty-one left in the first quarter of the game. Mitchell up top. He's guarded by Harper. Mitchell kicks to Struess. Harper against Mitchell. And that one drops. Ten points for him. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Like, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. Now here's Pippen. Still scoreless. Jordan passes to Pippen. Puts up a three. And again, Chicago. No good. Executing to perfection right now offensively. I mean, in total sync, good luck trying to stop him now. In the open floor, very few people can stay with Mitchell. Bulls trail by four. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And now the first time out called here for the Bulls.
Chicago making some changes. Wennington, he's checked in for Rodman. Kukoc comes in for Michael Jordan. And Steve Kerr is subbed in for Harper. Pippen, the pass to Wennington. Kerr outside. To the inside. Out to Kukoc. Shot clock at five. Shoots over a Coro. And again, Chicago. No good. Now the Cavaliers with it. They're on a 10-2 run here. And they pick up two. 14 points for Donovan Mitchell. It's not an easy shot. There's definite contact, but somehow Mitchell keeps it on target. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Wennington passes to Kukoc. Back to Kerr, 11 feet away, and the shot is good. And good looking mid range Jay from Kerr. Terrific at taking advantage of that area of the floor. The drive by Mitchell. Oh, and the dunk by Mitchell. Oh, he's had that move saved up for a minute. You could tell with that smile on his face. Mitchell making the most of that opportunity. Here's Kerr for. Th oh, and the buzzer beater's good. Ringing the bell. That's the way to close a quarter. He knew exactly how he wanted to do it, too. There was no doubt in his mind that it was going to fall. Donovan Mitchell firing on all cylinders for Cleveland. What an amazing quarter. There was absolutely no stopping him. And we'll be back with you shortly. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Cavaliers. Oh, boy, they've been driving deep into that defense early on, and it's paid off. Great penetration from the perimeter so far. And on top of that, they've been asserting themselves offensively, getting a good chunk of their points from inside. Mitchell and Strews, they're the guards. Allen is out there with Wade. And it's a Coro in at the small forward position. That's the group for Cleveland going right now here in the second. Now, here's Jordan. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Allen's got five rebounds tonight. Mitchell up top, guarded by Jordan. Here's a Coro. Allen dishes to Mitchell. Out to Wade. On the wing, Mitchell. Carded by Jordan. Chicago making some changes. Rodman comes in for Simpkins. And it's Harper in for Kerr. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. Weaving his way around Mitchell. Tough to guard anywhere on the floor with his skill. This is his second trip to the free throw line. An 89% free throw shooter puts him right there among the league's best from the line. He hits one and misses one each at the line. Bulls trail by six. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thank you, Kevin. Jared Allen is earning his keep in the painted area. He said from a young age that was instilled in me. The footwork as a big back to the basket. I'm trying to find it in the flow of the offense. I don't want to disrupt this to where I'm getting in people's way. I just want to find my spot. Kevin? And he does it well. D.A., thank you. And once Mitchell has any bit of momentum behind you, you are absolutely in trouble. He is terrific at scoring through contact. Now here's Kukoc. Still without a basket. He feeds it to Rodman. Rodman with the slam. Oh, dynamic two-hand jam. Mm -hmm. And right in the face of the defender. Mitchell kicks to Allen. Off target from three-point range. And here is Jordan. Six points for him. Kukoc passes to Wennington. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. 
he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Bulls shooting their first free throws of the evening. Longley's checked in for Chicago. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line. Here's Mitchell. Oh, and the dunk by Mitchell. Oh, wow. Welcome to dance class hosted by Donovan Mitchell. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Harper against Mitchell. Now, here's Harper. He's covered closely. Takes it from 10. Here's Longley. That falls. Nice feed that time from Harper. Longley's got his first basket of the night. And Harper brings a lot of physicality to the table. Also solid at cutting the D apart with his pass. That's good by Mitchell. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. When it ain't broke, leave it alone until someone stops him. Just let him roll. Now, here's Longley. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Rodman kicks to Jordan. Back to Rodman. Out that one, and the Cleveland lead has been cut down now to just five on the basket from Longley. And I like how he draws the attention on the inside and then the nice little kick out in rhythm for the jumper. Here's Mitchell. He's got 26. The wide open shot from Struce. Off the mark there with the three point shot. I've been against Struce. They double him with Mitchell. Stolen by Wade. One oh six left to play here in the second quarter. The drive by Mitchell can't hit from in close. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Rodman passes to Jordan, shoots over Struce, and there's Michael Jordan, the assist from Rodman. Jordan's got eight points. The high percentage look for Jordan it has every move you could ask for in the painted area. Okoro kicks to Mitchell. Out to Wade. Pass to Okoro. Six to shoot. Here's Mitchell. Rebound by the Bulls. Rodman's got six rebounds now in the game. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Harper the pass to Rodman. Got a piece of it. To the wing right side. And it's Isaac Okoro with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Beyond the arc. He doesn't hit that one. That shot misses. Oh, awesome defense. Robin moving his feet incredibly strong for his size and just does a great job of getting into the head of the opponent. Donovan Mitchell firing on all cylinders for the Cleveland Cavaliers. He's up to 26 points in the game now. Just keeps pouring in the buckets. Will return shortly. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. It's been one outstanding game from Donovan Mitchell. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And you love that mindset he has going at the rim. He hasn't settled for anything, and he's been the aggressor all game long. So starting the second half, here's who Phil Jackson has on the floor. 
Pippen is out there with Dennis Rodman. Then there's Harper. Then there's Longley. And it's Jordan in at the shooting guard. Mitchell just continues to improve every season. And now he's one of the game's elite players. And Mitchell drops them both. Bulls trail by five. Outside Harper. There's the pass to Jordan. Harper against Mitchell. Longley a screen on Mitchell. Six on the shot clock. Harper. Longley can't get it to go. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. Here's Jordan. That falls. Nice feed that time from Harper. Ten points for Michael Jordan. Yeah, and when we think about the excitement that Jordan brings to the game, but, but what about the offensive fundamentals? The, the, the man is a perfectionist. Now, here's Mitchell. And he has 28 points for the game. I mean, already hot coming into the game. It, is it fair to say he's hotter? And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. Pippen kicks to Harper. Jordan, that's for two. Jared Allen grabs the miss. Allen's got eight rebounds in this game. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Shoots over Harper. That one off the back iron and out. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Now here's Jordan. He's got 10. Over Wade. Jordan can't get that one to fall. Cleveland leading by five. Mitchell outside. The dish to Wade. There's the three. Got a piece of it. Here's Pippen. And he elevates for the slam dunk. Isaac Okoro did not like that. Uh, and I like what the defense is thinking here, but Pippen gets physical inside and insists on getting to his shot. Now, here's Mitchell. 30 points in the game, and he banks in the lane. Mitchell's got six here in this quarter. This man has entered the zone. Great shooting performance from him all game long. Pippen feeling it out a bit. Good on that shot, and with that, the Cavalier lead is cut back down to three on the basket from Harper. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. Now, here's Mitchell. He's got 32. Mitchell is double. Lock at six. Wade for three, and he's good on the three ball. Wade's got his first three points of the game. Sharing the love. If you get yourself this open, Mitchell will set you up. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. The Cavaliers are trying to win now while also developing a young superstar in the making in Evan Mobley. Coach J.B. Bickerstaff said, what we're trying to build is never putting one person above the greater success of the team. So it's a balance because when we get to our best, I believe Evan can be our most impactful player, but it's on us to get him there. Kevin? I like that approach. Thanks, DA. Tony Kukoc, he's checked in for the Bulls. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Out to Wade. Here's the three. Rodman with the rebound. And he might have thrown himself off when he saw how much space he had from three. And it's Pippen in the corner. Passes it to Longley. That falls nicely on the feed that time from Pippen. Pippen's got his fourth assist in this one. Harper against Mitchell. Wade outside. Pass to Struess. Mitchell kicks to Struess. And the three off target. 
Chicago trailing here. How about this run, Craig? They're on right now. Wow. I mean, they're just getting to their spots and executing, really keeping things simple. Now, here's Pippen. A miss that time would have put him up. There's 21 seconds left to play here in the third. Here's Mitchell. And the layup's good off the glass. Mitchell's got 34. So prolific. Mitchell's a guy who can put up 50, 60, and he's even proven to put up 70. Sheesh. Harper, no good. Mitchell outside. With one on the clock. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. Donovan Mitchell firing on all cylinders for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And his big game just keeps getting bigger. That quarter sees him get over 30 points. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. You've got to admire the vision just as much as the accuracy. Not many players can even spot that pass. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. Mitchell and Strews, they're the guards. Wade out there with Allen. And it's a Coro in at the three, the small forward. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavaliers. And you look at Kerr, just a sharp shooting role player. His game really about guts and intelligence. Chicago making a switch here. Bushel is checked in. And the second free throw, good. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for the Cavaliers. Three-point lead. Out to Wade. Launches a three. Allen dishes to Mitchell. Mitchell is double. Shot clock at six. It's stolen. Pass to Jordan. That's good. And so Kerr with the assist. And you can tell Kerr has a good sense for the floor, which helps him find a ready shooter to deliver the ball to. Now, here's Mitchell. And the foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That is his first foul of the game. I'm not sure what he thought he could get away with there. Pretty clear over the back. Yeah, it's one thing to be aggressive hot shot. It's another thing to get reckless. He's got to stay under control. The Bulls making a switch here. Longley's checked in. And you want to talk about difficult guys to match up with. Tony Kukoc at 6'11", can shoot it, handle it. I mean, how do you guard it? And it's tied up with that one. And you can see that even though he ties the game up, disappointed he couldn't give him the lead. A crossover. Here's Mitchell. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Kukoc. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. And Mitchell drops them both. We've played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. The pass to Kukoc. Mitchell against Kerr. Pass to Bushler. Michael Jordan on the wing. Tries it from 19. And that one swishes right in. Jordan's got it all tied up now for Chicago. Mitchell against Kerr. Mitchell passes to Okoro. Feeds it to Allen. Out of bounds. It'll be the Bulls ball. Some changes for Chicago. Dennis Rodman. He's checked in for Kukoc. Pippen comes in for Bushler. And it's Harper in for Kerr. Now here's Jordan to take the lead. And he sinks the layup. Jordan's got six points in the quarter. And you can just see the extraordinary competitiveness. MJ staying laser focused after absorbing the contact. Mitchell against Harper to the right side. Okoro kicks to Struess. 
Here's Mitchell. He takes it in, and it's Mitchell with the jam. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there, sure. Now Pippen. Pass to Jordan. That falls. Nice feed that time from Scottie Pippen. Pippen's got assist number five here tonight. Cavaliers trailing. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Mitchell dishes to Okoro. Back to Mitchell. And it's out of bounds. The Cavaliers able to retain possession here. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. In deflections, they're a stat that all teams track. They show who is the most active defensively. Pass to Pippen. Wide open look. Jordan kicks to Harper. Longley, a screen on Mitchell. And finished off by Longley. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. And those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ball game. Down low, here's Jordan. Used the shot fake to create the angle, but couldn't get it to fall. Mitchell outside. And the rejection by Pippen. Elite at both ends. Pippen sees the play develop, and then the perfect timing on the block. Moves back up, and Mitchell with the layup. Mitchell's got 40 points. His team trusts him, and rightfully so. Mitchell makes so many big, important shots because he is a clutch performer. Now, here's Jordan. Pippen outside. Over a Coro. Five on the clock. Longley can't get it to go. Just a tiny lead for him. And a chance to make it a little bigger right here. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. Free throw drops for Mitchell. That and one free throw ups it to a two-possession game. Costly foul on the shot that time. Chicago calls timeout. They're trailing by four. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Karis LeVert's checked in for a Okoro. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? During that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what Phil Jackson said to the team. The coach told his players, hey, they're feeling the pressure over there. Keep pressing. Keep fighting. They're starting to crack. Well, let's get this game even. Guys? Thank you, David. Boy, I, I'll tell you, there's an art to doing this. What's amazing is how often Jordan hits the clutch shot. Here's Mitchell. Takes it inside. Count it. The moment is never too big for Donovan Mitchell. Timeout call. The Bulls. They're down by four. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And here are the Bulls now. Outside Harper. Here's Jordan. Good. And he has brought them to within two points. And there are nights it really doesn't matter what you do defensively. MJ is going to score, and this is looking like one of those nights. Yeah, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. Yeah, Two-possession game now. I mean, those were really important foul shots. Jordan in the corner. The kick out to Harper. For the three. Jared Allen grabs the miss. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. It's the first, and that puts them up by five. 
Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Cool, calm, and collected. Say that three times fast. He makes them all and puts this game away. And so it's Cleveland winning this one. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. And now our New Balance player of the game. Donovan Mitchell.